Yo homes, welcome back to another Photoshop tutorial and in this one I'll teach you how to correct unwanted shadows and color differences in documents. For starters, the best way to handle documents is to get them scanned. But all of us don't have access to that. So the second best option is to click the right kind of photo with everything adjusted to minimize to minimize the post-production process. But sometimes we end up handling photos taken by someone else who is not well versed at taking the photo giving a terrible result and that's what we will be correcting in this tutorial so here's an example of a terribly, terribly short photo of a document making it extremely illegible with the shadow of the phone on it making the contrast very difficult to read also giving some uh, unnecessary differences in color color elements which is quite irritating so uh, in this video what I'll teach you is not exactly some hard on scale or thumb is more like some tricks you can use to handle this painful situation With the perspective correction and cropping out done, we will start by removing the shadow as much as possible. The best way to do that is by introducing a new curve layer where you are focusing on correcting the part of the shadow bringing it as close as possible to the rest of the photo. Once we will add a mask on the curve layer. To do so, select the curve layer and add a mask with the option just below the layers panel. We will adjust mask so that the effects of the curve stays limited to the shadow and some other unnecessarily dark areas making the overall white balance equal as equal as possible in the overall photo. With the shadow done, we will now correct the discrepancies in the colors in the overall document by adding a hue and saturation layer and correcting the saturation since it's uh, just a numbers doc with uh, no color information it's best to just straight on remove complete saturation and make it black and white now we will add another curves layer and adjust it uh, as for the requirement just, just till it feels the closest to feeling right. Now we need to correct the shaky feel of the document that's making it very difficult to read. To do so we need to add a sharpening layer which is a filter you can get from the filter menu followed by sharpen followed by shake reduction. We need to use it uh, approximately the same values that we get by experimenting on on all the parts of the pictures, the crop outs we have used since we can, it's not an adjustment layer that you can use on the overall composition as well. And thus you can somewhat save a doomed photo of a document. This ends this tutorial. Thank you so much for watching, do subscribe for more and hit the bell notification to get notified when I upload a new video. Use the comment section to let me know about what you think, positions, etc. Credits as well. And uh, follow me on other social media, links in the description below, especially Instagram. And download my stock elements from our 2020 answer stock accounts links in the description below thanks again see ya keep creating and stay above the clock